Hello guys, um, it's nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Um, today I'm going to just cover a little bit how to work with depth of field, how to create more realistic uh, depth on your projects. Please take advantage of this. Again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, so you can um, continue getting updates from the videos that I'm posting. And thank you uh, for supporting the channel. All right, so let's just uh, we start with a new uh, project here. Just give me a second. Let me just double check things out here. Good. All right, cool. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and create a platonic and start with a platonic form. I'm going to just make this 20 uh, a little bit smaller. Don't need to make this uh, bigger for the sake of the space on my machine. Um, all right, cool. I'm going to just make this an editable object. I'm going to select, uh, let's see, select the entire form, go to my points. I'm going to change a little bit the points, uh, make this a little bit one close to another. Go back to um, this, um, to the polygons, change a little bit of polygons, actually. Yeah, change a little bit of polygons. Delete. And I will select the entire form again. Use my insert to select one more time. Use my extruder and make this a little bit more two dimensional. Cool. So I have this right now, platonic. Go back to that. And um, I'm gonna use a cloner. I'm gonna clone this. Project it's too far from one another, and I'm gonna make this closer. Let's see, 40 and 40. Ah, too close. Uh, 60, 60. Uh, hold on, 60. Good, I think that's kind of let me see here. That's pretty, pretty good for the tutorial. All right, so I have this distance of them. Uh, let me just render here and show it. Let me actually, let me. Before I do that, let me just click the right button on my cloner, make connect all the objects. Cool, right there. So let me just render to show to you a little bit. All right, so here we can see we know we know that this object is in the back and this is in the front because of the size. Uh, so you can create distance in any object or depth by changing colors, changing size of objects, using lights. But um, blurring the back, that's kind of pretty much how our eyes see. When you see something that's very, very far, we can see much details of it. Things that are closer, there are more details. So that's pretty much what we, what we want to do, okay? All right, so I have this object here. I will create also, I'm gonna add a few more details in this object. I um, have some materials that I added already. Um, let me just delete and add these materials again. So I can see how you did, how I did. I have a reflectant here. I will go to the legacy, maximum. Uh, I, will, I will make the reflection strength 3%. All right, cool. I'm gonna create another material and um, I'm gonna go with the diffusion all right, excellent. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a plane. And uh, my plane and my clone, I'm gonna make just a little bit up because when I start to add the ground, um, you'll see again what's gonna happen. I'm gonna just go ahead also and I'm gonna add floor right there. And clone, let's just get my um, floor and add a little bit on top of the plane. So let me see how far they are. A little bit more on top of the plane. Cool. Right there. Go back here. All right, for render, nothing happened. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this on the floor and my reflectant on top of the plane. So you can see now I have a nice reflected object and I'm gonna add some colors on the soccer balls. 
So I'm going to go ahead to the color. I will not be reflecting. I'm going to go to gradient. Click on a gradient. Open presence. And let's add this one here. And I will go to radio. Yeah, I like radio. And I'm going to add it to my um, spheres. All right, so here I have pretty decent, but still there's no depth, right? So everything's so flat out. So here we're going to go, okay, this is a trick for you to add depth in your project, okay? All right, first place we're going to go, go to the render settings. Let me just delete the depth of field and show to you where you're going to find. You're going to go to effects and depth of field is right there. Depth of field. Don't change anything here, but you can. The lens sharpness and the lens intensity, the lens intensity but you don't need though. Um, so if I render here, nothing happened. Cool. You're missing a camera because you're going to use the blur through the camera. And that's how depth are added. So if you see a movie when the cameraman is recording, he can uh, focus on the specific parts of the scene. So I'm going to go ahead to camera, hit camera here. I'm going to um, go ahead and play my camera. And now I want to change to this view here so I can show to you what actually is going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my camera uh, a little bit smaller, closer to my objects. So really pay attention to what's going to happen here. Okay, this is very, very important now. All right, so I have, with my camera selected, I'm going to go to details. And here is a place, DOF map from blur and DOF rear blur. So look at the camera, what happened, okay? When I add the rear blur, a new section is added to my camera. And that's the blur section, where you actually is going to blur. So I'm going to check both of it. And you can see that one went all the way back, the front blur, you can see. And let's just see the, the scene now, because I want to show to you what actually happened, okay? So I'm going to render. Now what happened is a blur were added in the front of it of my my object what you need to do is you need to regularly read the, where that blur those two blur is going to be okay or if you want to work with one in the front and one in a, in a rear okay so for you to you you can change here you can readjust things out here or as you can see add it right here or you can adjust directly by dragging those yellow um, points, okay? Those yellow, um, the yellow dots that you can see. Okay, right there, okay? You can add the blur in that way. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just work with the front blur, with the rear blur. So let's see where we are right now, All right? So I don't have nothing here. So what I'm gonna go ahead is, I need to adjust that blur to make sure that the things make sense to my scene. So let's get this first, move a little bit down here and get closer to my image. Let me, let me uh, render and you can see now very nicely the back, the rear, it's, it's very nicely blurred already. I can't, um, I just, this is the, um, orient, uh, the, the, the orientation where the blur goes and you can see here myself moving, okay? Um, if you go to um, the depth of field, you also can uh, change the intensity of the lens. So let's see what we got here by changing those things. So you can see that's a little bit, even a little bit more. Okay, so that's kind of pretty much how you change and create a very decent, decent depth uh, on your projects, as you can see, uh, on objects that are on the back, in the background, or foreground, okay, uh, to create uh, the distance, this distance that uh, you can see. Let me... Um, Drag this a little, even a little bit more closer to the foreground and see what we got here. Why well, they're even more now. So you can see this one here is really, really sharp. This one too, a little bit of this and everything else is nice, 
uh, uh, nicely in blur. Okay, as attention is given to the foreground. All right. So I really hope you can enjoy this tutorial. Please again subscribe to the channel. Uh, take advantage of this, and I see you next time. All right. Bye bye.